Welcome back to Coffee Talk with Dave and Third. Your fine pur- fine purveyors of delicious coffee favored beverages. Coffee favored beverages? God, I can't even f- talk today. And soda. Werewolf representatives push the ministry for more accessible sedative. Doctor from Salak Town arrested for experimenting with child cloning. Military, Military pers- personnel stationed along East Coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from the Atlantic. See, like, they built the wall. Like literally from the Atlantic, or well, she figured. said people from Oceania hmm. have trouble getting visas. So yeah, I think it's just keep those damn merfolk out. <laughs> Are you sure that would be oh, okay? Oh no. Oh no. Jim, you can bleep this out. Um It's there Dave? Yeah. They're... Jim bleep that out. Yep. Are you sure that would be okay? <laughs> yes. I mean, it would be really hard to pull off. But it's something that'll make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully and gracefully. I know. I know, just completely changing the formula of a novel like halfway through writing it, what could go wrong? Uh, (laughs) Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? Looked like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. I was just talking about changing my novel into a choose-your-own-adventure. Hey, I'd like I'd read it. It was just giving me feedback for the book I'm writing. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Although, I need to interrupt Dave for a moment. Sure, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Hmm... You remember my remedy? Of course. Do you want to give it a try again? My last order might have been the right drink. Let's give it a try again, just to be sure. Okay. Remember, it has tea and ginger. Yeah, I know. It's literally on our brew pad. Is it? Tea, milk, and ginger. Galahad. Tea, milk, ginger. Poop. can't believe all the innocent redheads were sacrificing in the name of drink. <laughs> but it's delicious. Judging from the smell, this looks like it. Indeed. Actually, I had the same you feeling. You can't actually tell from the smell what it looks like. <laughs> I've made a note of that mixture. Perfect. Anyway, please don't mind me and continue with your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gala, we're done for the night. You're done. I have a lot of new homework thanks to you. You're welcome. Tide coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. It's gonna be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. Oh, come on, I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. He might not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. Uh, He doesn't show it, that's for sure. That applies to you as well. Ah, oh, come on. Who? Who we got? Hey, Bailey's. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Bailey's. I didn't put the period in front of the mister again. Hey, yeah, there's some randomly missing punctuation. How are you doing, Freya? What's with the weird announcery voice? Not good. That's what he, he's Markiplier. What was he? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, cause he's got like the gl- the scarf, and he's like a. I, I I thought he was just like pompous Brit type. Yeah, he's pompous Brit Markiplier. Okay. <laughs> Not good. What's going on? Dave was just criticizing my story. It's called feedback. Oh, that's right. She gave us the book the book to read a couple of days ago. It's necessary. Sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? The story is... Ah, choose your own adventure! <laughs> <laughs> the story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a <laughs> choose your own adventure storybook. God, did we write this game? <laughs> oh! But for adults. 
you know, you flip to page 128 to get the gangbang. And then 129 for boobs for the rave. (laughs) And then 130 for the drugs. And then 131 for all three. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) But you got to turn 131 upside down. Don't forget that. Upside down, inside out. Oh, and (laughs) then if you go to page 69, there's a fold out of the centerfold. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Sounds pretty common. I should have, paid, so oh, I should have said page 69. <laughs> you messed up. Jim, Jim, replace whatever I said with 69. No. <laughs> Just Don't horribly do it, dubbed over. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. <laughs> what? That score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. I know, it's not that original. Yeah, asking people to keep score, I don't know. Yeah, it could work. That There are certain choose-your-own-adventures. Gallon, um, answer your fucking phone. No, it's going to ring for a while. Uh, there are certain choose-your-own-adventures where you make a character sheet. Yeah. And they have you roll dice. Yeah, fighting so fantasy. Maybe? Um, the, uh, the fucking um I don't remember what they are but they're like the Kai books Lone Wolf books Lone Wolf books yeah. um the one that I read growing up which was Grail Quest that's a deep fucking dive if you've read the Grail Quest books any of them leave me a comment down below and I won't believe you <laughs> <laughs> but my target here is the mainstream audience huh with the help of my publisher this kind of book may go mainstream. Just like that choose your own adventure show on Netstream. It's nothing oh, new, but because of the marketing. They were uh oh, hold on. Names involved. Reached the mainstream market. I think that's an allusion to Black Mirror. Um yeah, Bandersnatch. The, yeah. Snanderbatch. <laughs> which I have not seen and have no desire no, to see, but I it was pretty interesting. Have zero interest in the Black Mirror series. Um, also, you know what else is like that? Like what she's talking um, about? There is a Carmen Sandiego uh, Choose Your Own Adventure on Netflix as well. Yes, but that's not what I'm talking about. No. It's on YouTube. Uh, oh, the Markiplier thing. Yeah, yeah, a heist with Markiplier. No interest in that either. <laughs> it was actually Sorry, really Mark. well done. <laughs> that sounds interesting and highly ambitious for you. This is simpler than my other idea. Which is? Making the novel not in the form of book, but in the form of story cards. What? <laughs> Just, no, oh, right? Freya, you don't want to be an, a, a writer, a novel author. You want to be a video game designer. <laughs> As if it's she the has... whole thing here that she hooks up with the mermaid and the orc and they form a video game company. I'd be down for that. As if she has all the time in the world. And that's before even considering the sensitive issue of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. (laughs) What did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until I finish it, okay? (laughs) All right, all right. As Dave said, though, I won't have the time. I, I do have to say, in a world where all of these different races exist, making a novel with only humans does sound super racist. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like, like, okay. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a sensitive topic. Oh, maybe we should skip it then. Um, but, but I was going to say, on the subject of the Witcher show. Yeah. The Witcher series, right? Oh, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. written mainly from, like, Ukrainian mythology and all that. I think uh, Ukraine, S- right? Scandinavian. Well, uh, um... I think the author was, is Ukrainian, oh, right? No, he's Polish, I believe. Polish, right? Polish, Polish mythology. Sorry. So, like um, Northern Eastern Europe. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, the he had intended in his mind, like, imagine all a lot of these people as white, probably. Um, but when they cast him, like, they're like, they don't have to be white. It's a fantasy universe, and even the author, I think, is like, yeah. Like, that's fine. Um, 
but people got upset because oh it's polish mythology and polish folklore they should be white and it's just like what why is it set in poland if it's not set in poland they can be whatever color we want them to be yeah they could be blue so, who gives a shit so setting setting out to make a universe where that cuts out all the other races hmm. is a little racist sorry freya <laughs> i just well i mean the other thing is that it's still fantasy Right. Like, when you think of elves in fantasy, do you think of, like, multiracial elves, or do you think of, like, one... Except for drow. Uh, not, not including drow. <laughs> I, I think of various, like, different, like, yeah, uh, different skin color elves. Okay, Do, I, would, uh, I would imagine brown that... Brown elves, uh... I would imagine uh, that for most people, if they're thinking about a specific fantasy race, they're thinking about one color. Orcs, hobgoblins, whatever you want to say. Orcs I'll give you because they're green. Right. <laughs> but do but, they all have to be green? I mean, like, we don't know because nobody's really done a deep dive into that culture because it doesn't fucking exist. Yeah. <laughs> it can be whatever you want. If she wants to make a world where there's only humans, it's it's a fantasy novel and people shouldn't read political yeah. motives into it. But but if this takes place on Earth, you know... If it takes place in an alternate reality Earth, then that's fine. Well, it's, it's still fantasy. It's, if it's if it's making a point of saying like it's only humans, then it's well, like it's like making an alternate universe Earth and saying there's no black people here. Well, okay, here's the thing. It it's depends only on whether or not white that, people on this on this Earth. It depends on whether or not it's integral to the story. Yeah, if but it's important she's for to the make plot. It, I don't know. But we don't know enough. We're only getting yeah. half the story here. We're, anyway. We're, we are jumping to conclusions for the sake of entertainment. It's true. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. Fair enough. What's the story all about, by the way? You have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. Uh. Oh, wait, that's easy. Coffee, ginger, milk. Aha! Don't forget to do a pattern. He likes patterns. Okay. I don't have the option. Ah, uh, okay. Well, then. Here you go. Thanks. Damn, this is good. This kind of drink-making skill. Wonder why your place isn't any bigger. What we have here now is more than enough for me. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Success is not a pot. Success is not income. Success is not profit. Uh, Success the, is how happiness. How are you doing, Bailey's? So busy with your last client? No, oh, I'm done with her. Done. Is then you're dropping the project? Hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money. Done as in I've finished the job. I spent the past few days making sure. It's even done before the deadline. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had some complaints, of course, but I convinced her. By using some design terms she doesn't understand. So you finished your job by bullshitting her? Sounds like my high school career. <laughs> the finest bullshit, m'lady. That's one survival skill every free freelancer must have. Are you working on anything right now? No. I'm taking a break from work. I need to work on a few personal matters. Oh. Like you and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. By curious? <laughs> How'd you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. I don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know? Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? Put your- if you- uh, everybody out there, put your hand up if you haven't been young and stupid. Now put your hand down, you fucking liars. Thank you. <laughs> Talking to you in the back there, Steve. Jesus. You're Talking right. Steve. 
So, I was a bit of a player back in college. Ooh, spicy. Nah, I was going How after... long ago was college for you, though? Was it like <laughs> 2,000 years ago? No, he might be a young elf. You don't know. A young hung and no, full of cum no. elf. Ooh, we got Gala's Max. Anything warm and made with ginger, music, metal maiden, books, full metal jarhead. I'm doing with my life, trying to heal myself by helping other people heal. Number one pumpkin spice fan. Uh, favorite things, punk. Been listening to Pumpkin Spice since I was a wee lad. Oh, okay. Pumpkin Spice is a band. Cool. Uh, escaping bloodlines, experiencing life one color at a time. One day I'll have my own solo exhibition. Experiencing life one color at a time is a fucking pretentious thing to say. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, Bailey's is like the epitome of pretentious. Yeah. The epitome. <laughs> the epitome. Apex. And, I, and I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay. Let's call him Cognac. Cognac has a girlfriend. Okay, Cognac? Got still following? And that girl has a friend. And the friend is the one I'm after. Oh, okay. Got it. What's the problem? <laughs> she was one of the hottest girls there, but everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you'd want to date. Why? It's... I don't want to get into details. This succubus was super hot, and all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player, too. Huh? This doesn't sound like Lua at all. Because <laughs> it wasn't Lua, genius. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. Holy moly. This is getting spicier. The other girl's name was... Let's just call her Rose. Continue. I knew Lua thanks to her relationship with Cognac. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes. Now, will you let me continue without interruptions? Okay, okay. So I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. It annoyed her so much. But I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty active guy back then. So, Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Cognac back in college. I'd been out and I just got i got back just as Lua arrived. Total coincidence. We went into our place together and witnessed something surprising. What? Cognac was sleeping with Rose. Holy mother of moly! I saw the look on Lua's face. A disbelief, anger, sadness. And without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. You what? I mean, that's a good response, actually. I got into a fight with him. Oh, I haven't told you. Cognac was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for the kids. He's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch. And he beat me to a pulp. Easily. Lua begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. Huh, much like she begged Cognac. Hey, I wasn't kidding. I lost, but I don't give up so easily. I was beaten pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. We grew closer after that. I don't even remember the exact date, but suddenly, that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story. I that guy lost his job teaching jujitsu too, because <laughs> it's like, you're only supposed to use that shit for self-defense, and yeah, you get punched one time, you defend yourself, but you don't beat the other guy to a pulp because of it. Yeah, well, we don't know the, the other side of the story. You might have been exaggerating. Have you seen her by any chance? Yeah. Lua came by a few days ago. How is she doing? She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument, though. With whom? There was this male model. A model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. But why male models? <laughs> oh, they weren't together. What were they arguing about? I like how Gala is just like trying not to be too interested, but he occasionally looks over. G Gala is like interested when they talked about a model. Is like, hey. huh? What? 
Yeah. You guys, you guys talking about Hyde? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about your relationship? Luma told us about the reason behind the fight. About your family stuff. This guy, Hyde, joined the discussion. He's upset now. Uh, what did he say? He didn't understand why Lou would insist on getting family approval. Considering, you know... What? You're willing to leave your own family? You would do that for her? Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Let me tell you about my family. Or, God, you're so nosy, say, lady. Most elven families. They all think they're so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. We must never, ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs. Jobs that are deemed worthy and successful. Like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. You know, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something elves would deem suitable. Unless you become the next Da Vinci. <laughs> so, when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy. Screamed like they were on fire. They told me I'd never be rich or successful. All that because you chose an art degree? You want to know the worst part? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art yelled about how her kind is ruining the country, accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord, accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Whoa. I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. That's so not cool. I don't want to sound judgmental, but your family is racist. Tell me about it. Yeah, right, right, I... I think he knows, and that's why he's willing to leave them, because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two and two together here. <laughs> Lua is the only person that can make me feel alive. She showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lua is so obsessed with the idea of reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know. I would happily leave them for the both of us. I, I'm <clears throat> surprised that... He hasn't just, like, I assume he's basically just left them as is anyway. Yeah. And he's just, he hasn't made it, like, official or something it, like that. It, it, yeah, it shouldn't just be, like, he has to leave them for her. He can just leave, leave them, them for his own, uh, Yeah, but uh, his she, own, would, she would uh, always know that it was for her, and she and would blame him. Mental health. That's my guess, anyway. Yeah. What about her? What about her and her family? You may be happy to leave your family. However, it may not be the same for her. Doesn't have to be. I... Kala, do you have something to say? Perhaps you could give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I couldn't help overhearing your story. I assume that the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? Yes, she's a succubus. I see. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We'll put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack, but we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about succubi are true? <sighs> well, if they're racist, yes. <laughs> it totally would. Yeah. Maybe that's what she's worried about, enforcing the stereotypes. Yeah. I, a, a lot of times, there's really no, like, negotiating with the racist assholes of the world. It's just like, sometimes, it's like, they're too far gone, and you may as well cut them out of your life. I feel like there's more to this story that we don't know yet. Yeah. I, I never thought of it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a difficult spot. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. 
It's easy for you to say that now. You don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. One day, one of you might regret your decisions. One day, you might use the I left my family for you card. We love each other. I'll be with her whatever the circumstances may be. You can't say that. Doesn't work that way. You know. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. Maintaining it won't be easy. It'll be hard work. Because life, life is full of storms. Marriage may not survive on love alone. Whoa, that's deep. We'll have each other and that's enough for us. Tell me, do you have health insurance? What? I'm an elf. Why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. What for? Immortality is an elven privilege, but you'll lose it if your family disowns you. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or got seriously injured. Empty their entire life savings for an $8 pill? Because in this country they charge $20,000 for it? Fucking preach. Preach. Yeah. And if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privilege as you do. There's a high probability that they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. And there are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I've got to go. I apologize for my intrusion. No, thank you for your insight. I've got to go, too. Want to head out together? Sure. Thanks for the drink, Dave. If you hook up with me, you won't have to worry about kids. (laughs) And Freya. Bye. Well, that was a lot of heavy fucking shit. (laughs) What? You made me lose two customers in a minute. Hey, that wasn't on me. You're leaving anyway. Are you going to write that in book? Anyway. Secret. Apparently what? It's a secret. Yeah. It's a secret your, to everyone. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world with only humans around? I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Sounds like a great idea. End of the day. So I'd imagine that there's other stuff happening. We're just not seeing it. Oh, yeah. Much like Valhalla. Yeah. All right. Next time on Character Select, uh, we're moving on. And it looks like Bailey's and Lua's story might not end the best way. At least for now. Also, I find it interesting that Gala gave advice to Bailey's and Hyde gave advice to Lua. (laughs) Mm. Maybe they're coordinating by accident. (laughs) So thank you very much for watching. cast. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And third. Yes. Don't forget to join Me. us the next time on Coffee Talk. Couldn't if I tried. Yeah, well. Couldn't miss it, I mean. <laughs> Are you trying? Maybe. Rude. <laughs>